Hi everyone, this is Lum from Pro Knob Commerce. I'm extremely happy to announce that we are starting a video tutorial series to teach Knob Commerce beginners how to set up and run their own Knob Commerce stores. In this first episode of the series, we're going to start from the basics by learning how to set up a Knob Commerce store on a shared hosting. I'll teach you two methods to do so, and the second one is much easier than the first. To begin with the tutorial, head over to knobcommerce.codeplex.com and you'll see a button to download the installation files. Click download to get the file. We'll need it later. Next, you'll need to set up Knob Commerce on your host. I've chosen myasp.net as an example as it offers a free 60 day trial. So head over to myasp.net to sign up for your free account. After email verification, you'll be brought to the sign in page. After signing in, click try now to begin your trial on myasp.net. Follow through the simple steps and you'll have your account ready within minutes. When your account is ready, click Login CP to verify that you have set up your account properly. You'll see your FTP account information. You need this information to upload Knob Commerce files to your hosting. And to do that, open your regular FTP client. If you do not have an FTP client, I recommend you downloading FileZilla, which is free. Now, enter the FTP information shown on your myasp.net control panel into FileZilla and connect to the FTP server. You'll see that the FTP server is empty now with only some placeholder files. You need to move Knob Commerce files and put them into your FTP server. The upload can take some time as there are quite many files. Once everything is uploaded, do a quick check to verify that you have all the required files on your FTP server. Then click your website's link to load the installation page. Enter all the required information, such as admin username and password. You might want to tick create sample data to get Knob Commerce to load some sample product data. You'll also notice that we need to enter a database connection string. To do that, go back to myasp.net and navigate to Database Manager. You need to create a MSSQL database by clicking the Add Database button under MSSQL Manager page. Enter a database name and a password for your database and create the database. You can then copy the connection string of the new database and paste it into Knob Commerce installation page. When everything is ready, click Install. You'll then see Knob Commerce's homepage after waiting for a few minutes. What we've just learned is the manual way of installing Knob Commerce, but there's actually an easier way. Most modern web hosting service now supports installing applications through their application store. To try this, go back to myasp.net control panel. You'll see one click installer on your left, and you can see that Knob Commerce is one of the supported applications. Now, click the Install button, which will bring you through a few easy steps to set up Knob Commerce. On the last step, review all information and click Confirm and Install. Knob Commerce will then be set up within minutes. Note that installation done through one-click installer on myasp.net does not include sample data, so you'll see a homepage that is almost blank. See you in the next video.